The Happy Ones is about a, a man named Walter Wells who lives in Southern California in Orange County in the mid 70s and has the perfect life. And then it's destroyed one day. It's a story about putting your life back together. It's a story about unexpected relationships that you thought would never be part of your story but become necessary because the life just sideswipes you. It's a beautiful play, it's funny, and it's also very, very sad. I don't think that you can just throw tragedy in the lap of an audience and say, here, or you can't just say, here's a comedy and you're just gonna laugh for two hours. That combination of, of not knowing which emotion is coming next is a very interesting state. I think ultimately I wanted to write a play about forgiveness interested in what that would be and what that would look like. I was also very interested in kind of the aesthetics of 1975. That was my childhood. Well, you know, this, these are really basic ideas that I'm showing you today, inspired by the world of, of awesome 70s. It's going to be a challenge to balance out, you know, making this feel very like much like real people in their real environments and in their real clothes. I think it's a play just you, that you have to act really well. So I'm pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think I just think it's you know I think the direction of it is uh, the of it is, in, is in the is just in the relationships. For playwrights to get to experience their plays in new space, really I think makes them better writers. Here at the Magic, you're very much in the space with the characters. It's much more intense. I'm having to sit with it in my lap in a new way. It's a very powerful, potent piece of theater to rehearse. Sometimes we have to take breaks, sometimes we have to tell jokes all the time just to kind of lighten the mood and we have to remind ourselves that the humor in the play is there for a reason. Yeah, you were so warm and like laughing with him, you know, you weren't like, I'm not ready! Yeah. Okay, so that's good. The cast is great and they all really dig each other and that makes me very, very happy and and Julie's a fantastic person to have in the room. It's his collaborative experiences I've had in the theater in a long time. Tonally, this is a very tricky play. It rides a very tight line, and I think that's our work in the production, is to make sure that we just ride that line and give the audience the experience that I'm hoping for. Towers, the hour was strike the street, quick silver moon. Carriage across the fog to step to lamp light cellar tune.